Now at five, an emotional moment. We're watching that video. It's heartbreaking. That is Anissa Frank Tyson, the man who died in police custody in Canton, Ohio, just last month. Today, for the first time, we're hearing from the Tyson family, community, and their attorney. His family now calling for justice in his death. This is a story we first told you about last week when police released that body camera video. Tyson's last words were him saying he can't breathe as an officer placed a knee on his back. Tyson died just days after getting released from a 24-year prison sentence, and that's something his family says he was talking to an attorney to prove his innocence. He had a future. He had a plan. He was ready. He wasn't ready to die, though. No. No. He was ready to go to work. Yeah. But the cops, the two cops, they just ended his life. They didn't give him a chance. The family's attorney today called Tyson's death, quote, another George Floyd. The attorney also attacked the use of force policy for the Canton Police Department. This is the policy, use of force policy 300 for the city of Canton. Uh, yes, it doesn't mean anything. They're pretty words. And pretty words don't make good deeds. Pretty words don't matter. It's time to change. The two officers involved are now on paid administrative leave. Meanwhile, Tyson's autopsy will not be released until the prosecutor's office decides to do so. When we learn more about this, we'll keep you updated here on air and online. You can also watch the full nearly 40-minute body camera video from Canton Police. We've posted that on our website at 10TV.com.